Hi guys. How are you guys doing? Oh my goodness, I don't know whether to start with saying Happy New Year or whether to wish you guys Happy Valentine's. I don't even know where to start. It's been such a hot minute. I just realized that it's actually been an entire month. A whole month since my last upload. And even that upload was like... I thought it was going to end up being something like a bit of a farming series which I never managed to do. I was clearing the land to plant some sweet potatoes and before I knew it, I'd been caught up and uh, anyway, I wanted to tell you guys um, a bit of a background about how things have been going with mom and her treatment, which is why I've been so MIA. It's been so hectic. So the last time we spoke, I think we were going back for mom's results. I, I I hope that's where we were. So before we managed to go and do the scans that were meant to get the progress on where the cancer has gotten to, mom fell. She was just walking around doing her normal walks and then she fell down. So when she fell, she scraped herself a little bit like the scrape I have here and there was a lot of blood on the ground because it was on the tarmac. It was on the cemented part, the car park downstairs. And it didn't look like it was such a big thing. There was a lot of blood, yes, but mom generally has a lot of blood and we didn't think much about it. So what happened after that? A little bit like a month down the line, my sister noticed that she is like becoming a bit sluggish in her movement her leg is like lagging behind her hand after some time her hand wasn't moving quite well the coordination generally was bringing an issue so she mentioned it to me and i was like ah okay let's observe after some time it became evident it was getting worse and so we scheduled uh, an appointment with the doctor we were booked to see the neurosurgeon who confirmed that yes um, no in fact when we went now to do the the scans when we explained to the doctor she told us no this one it looks as if you're going to need to do an MRI because this looks like it's even more serious than the scans that we were supposed to be going to do so she told us she sent us to the neuro to the neurosurgeon as soon as he had the symptoms in fact when she was just talking to him trying to book us he told her that these guys be scheduled for an MRI so long story short we did the mri it showed that she had a clot so when she fell she hit her head and when she hit her head apparently um from what the doctors explaining to us as you age your brain your brain becomes it shrinks so it detaches a bit from the skull not really detaches but the veins that connect are very weak they are very stretched so they are kind of very weak and so any kind of sudden movement or any bang on your head can result in you having a clot lo and behold shock on us so instead of us going to do the scans that she was scheduled for we ended up doing the mri and then we were told okay wait for these results in fact actually she did them both i can't i remember she did them both she did the mri that was meant to be more urgent and then she did the scans as well all on the same day and then we were told okay before we do anything to do with the scans get the mri get the results find out what's happening and all of that stuff so that became now the journey we waited for was it about a week to get those results i don't remember it was either a week or two weeks it's been a while there's been so much happening that even catching up is a problem but what i'm going to do in short all those events and then eventually the ct and the scans and then the you know up to where we are now i'm going to update you guys i just wanted to come and holler and tell you guys how i'm still around I, it was very impromptu. I hadn't planned to like take a hiatus or anything. Yeah, it just happened because of events. So now that you guys have a bit of a clue what's happening, I will. I've been recording. I've been doing a bit of our visits and this and that. So what we'll do? What I'm going to do? I'll put them in some kind of order, and then I'll begin to upload them so that you guys can be all caught up on what's been happening and yeah but as of right now i have to share this bit of news when we went and got the results now that was last week on tuesday at least the doctor said the cancer isn't really visible in her body 
which was awesome we are still celebrating we were so shocked we didn't we were expecting the worst in fact we didn't even know how to respond properly but um her cancer marker has gone up that's the only part that's a little bit negative and as a result of that she will require some chemo she's going to require a bit of chemo but all of that will be in the update in the videos that follow i'll bring you guys up to speed on everything but i just wanted to do a brief let you know what's going on and at least appear this year i've been doing so badly but i'm going to catch up with all of you guys very soon so thank you so i'm inserting some clips you can see over here this is the way she was walking prior to anything how she was moving when we were doing our regular walks you can see her right oh my goodness i always confuse these these directions her left leg was being left behind if you look very nicely especially when she's going down the stairs you can see some sluggishness in her leg the same thing was happening on her with her hand what you're seeing now here is after the brain surgery this is how she came out of theater the stitches were like that the doctor later on explained to us that it was necessary to do two um two cuts as opposed to just trying to do one he said um science medicine they've discovered that it's easier when you allow the blood to seep out from two separate you know like tears you know when they said they're drilling the head i actually thought you know i thought of a drill your regular drill that goes grrr and makes a hole yeah that's ignorance for you but yeah some of these things you can't know so they actually do it like that they kind of tear yeah a, a crosswards or is it downwards yeah anyway so this is how she came out and now the other amazing thing is that she didn't need to go to icu normally when you're elderly especially actually all he told us all brain patients go from the theater to icu for observation first at least for a day or two but she came straight from there direct to the ward from recovery she just came straight to the ward which was another blessing as well because we were very unprepared for this whole surgery you remember we were going to do ct scans so there was no financial arrangement done for for surgery that was nowhere in our minds you know and then it when she got the results it became an emergency so she it was done the same day i mean she didn't go home you understand we got the results and we were told this is an immediate emergency admission she was admitted without deposit that's how serious things were so this is how she came out of the theater and um i'm going to insert one more clip of how she's moving now a month or so has it even reached a month she recovered so fast you guys that is going to be in the subsequent videos but i'm going to put a clip i hope i can find it of how she, her movement is now and i would like you guys to compare the before and after and just look at the amazingness of god and medicine combined oh, yeah. uh, even the leg oh, yeah you can't even know there's any with anything Oh, but there's no thanks so much for watching you guys if you haven't subscribed please do subscribe i've been seeing views even on <laughs> the older videos and i appreciate it a lot you guys and um yeah just look out for the updates look out for the current videos and the updates i'll be keeping you guys posted on everything bye